She says she dreams of competing in the Olympics one day. However, the dedicated young figure skater had her dreams put on hold earlier this week. And 23 ABC's Joe Hankey talked to Amber Braley and has the story of how she got back on the ice. Joe? That Olympic dream keeps Amber Braley motivated. She's been collecting medals and trophies along the way, but it was an unfortunate crime this week that put practice and even possibly competition on hold. Amber Braley is a 12-year-old figure skater. Well, my skates are pretty much my life. My, I'm here 24-7 on the ice training to try to get my dreams accomplished. She travels every day from Tehachapi to practice at the San Joaquin Ice Center. And this July, she's competing in a world championship competition in Anaheim. But earlier this week, Amber's $1,500 skates were in the back seat of her mom's car. And when I went to open the car door, all this glass just hit the ground. The car was parked outside her mom's office Wednesday night, and it's then believed a group of men broke in. First thing my daughter looked for was her skates. The suspected thieves ignored expensive medical equipment, prescription drugs, and... They left the iPad perfectly fine, but, like, we were just surprised that they would take skates. With broken glass and security footage of the break-in, they contacted Bakersfield police. But days passed with no help from BPD, Amber's mom says. Eventually, good news came. Yesterday evening, um, a lady had found her skates, and basically it was the bag, the skates, and everything that was in the bag strewn all over a, uh, a, an empty parking lot field off of 34th Street by Memorial Hospital. That woman collected everything and brought it to the ice center. One of Amber's friends just happened to be there. When she saw the lady walk in. One of my friends said that she'd seen my bag. The woman left the skates, but no name or phone number. Amber has her skates back and also a message for whoever it is to return them. I would just thank her. I'd be, I'd be really grateful to at least know that there are some people in the world, you know, who would be that kind and generous. Now, it's without those skates, Amber said she would have had to withdraw from the World Championships this July. Monique says that they still have not heard back from the police department. And it's without a report that they can't go to their insurance now to get their car window fixed. In studio, Joe Henke, 23 ABC.